You see this cute little building right here? It's got some of the cheapest apartments anywhere in New York City. These are $1,000 cheaper than anything else up here. Look, and you can enjoy the fountains that are in front of that luxury building without paying those obnoxious luxury prices. Plus, this apartment comes with a free smoker. I just wonder, uh, this stove, this cord right here, it is what it is. Welcome to the Upper East Side. Hard to imagine some of the most affordable apartments in Manhattan are up here. This neighborhood's great. Got your local delis, get that bagel, and some Pikachu tea. It's probably pineapple flavor. Now, most of the buildings up here are these massive luxury towers, but then there's also older places like this, and this is where the cheap ones are, if you're able to find them, that is. There's also lots of local restaurants and another bagel place. Oh, this one looks like the real deal. Look at all that cream cheese. All they do is bagels, that's it. You don't wanna do too many things or you don't really end up doing anything right. Nice, got a little park. Five minutes from the apartment. And there's city bikes, local pizza, local coffee. It's really good. I haven't had the juice. But if this is too healthy for you, don't worry. All the food you ate in college, you can get across the street at Taco Belly Egg. Instead of going here, just buy some local vegetables or some local avocado toast. But look at this. Every storefront, there's a little shop, there's a little something. There's a newspaper store, sushi, and you can get a little Panda Express in your life. If I lived here, I would eat Panda Express no less than three days a week. I also plan to live until I'm 40, at least. This magical Italian forest is called Patsy's Pizza. I guess they're expecting more than takeout by the slice. Seriously, it's a fancy spot. And they've been here since 1933. 200 years of Upper East Side Pizza. Ronald McDonald's, Starbucks. FYI, the park has a bathroom as well. The Little Beat. Sweet. You should subscribe too. We've arrived, the building is behind me, and this little cafe, it's called Claire's. You're definitely gonna be there. Sushi, more sushi. Finestra, it's so good, they don't even have pictures, they just tell you what it is. Plus, I think it's been in the neighborhood for a long time. There's a local deli, water, melons, and another newsstand. I wonder what they keep in this locked box. Look at this, we've got luxury buildings over here, and we're right over here. So crazy how different things can be on two sides of the street. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video and for feeding me with their amazing, never frozen, ready to eat chef crafted meals. I've only got three left and they sent me six. And as somebody who can't cook, I love the fact that Factor is not only very healthy, it's also incredibly quick and easy to make. Pull a meal out of your fridge, remove the wrapper, add some speed holes to make it go faster or to vent it out. And here's the best part, place it in the microwave for two minutes. No matter how impatient you are, this is shorter than that. And boom, your food is ready to go. Sun-dried tomato chips chicken. That is way better than I expected. Look at that, 500 calories, real vegetables. I could probably lose weight if this is all that I ate. It's also affordable. This is less than the cost of delivery. And it, again, it's faster because we're talking two minutes from fridge to stomach. Shredded chicken tacos, chicken and broccoli, braised beef. Also the smoothies, lots of good stuff in there. They're also delicious. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CASHJORDAN to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now let's get back to the video. I won't show anybody the password. <laughs> There's a lot of security cameras here. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> But it makes you feel good. Security's not a bad thing. Look, we have an exit sign, a little push button to exit. Mailbox is not too many apartments in here. And we have a trash room, which is relatively clean. much of a view, but it's nice inside. Look at this place. Sky, what's the rent on this? $25.50. $25.50? How many bedrooms? Two, actually. That's $12.50 per room. 
It's a steal. Crazy. The high intensity lights are my favorite. This is like the most New York view in any apartment. Now, if we look up here, we can see the ceiling, which probably means that maybe this wall's not original, but I don't think that's a problem because it's a pretty well done conversion. This is solid. And then if we open this, we've got this crazy looking storage. It's right across from the front door. Jackets, more jackets. This could be shoes. It could be phones. Where did they find this cabinet? And it's like held in with these crazy brackets. I'm not hating on it. I wish every apartment had something like this. It's just kind of wild that there's a window in here. I guess the good thing is you won't need a curtain because it just looks into a closet. This is a great kitchen. It's really big. I didn't expect it to have this or really good water pressure. Even though it's basic, it's better than a lot of what you'll see. I've seen apartments downtown that have kitchens that, you know, the stoves are gross and the cabinets are rotting and falling apart. But look, this is a clean, well-maintained place. There's lots of drawers for silverware. What's your opinion on this kitchen? I think it's dope. So not the most renovated, but we have a ton of counter space. That's right, you could have room to cook. There's like a drying rack. There is an outlet. How is the fridge? I mean, you know what? It works. And this is a legitimate vent so you could cook in here. And since two people might live here, if you make a lot of bacon and your roommate is vegan, you're gonna want a really good vent so that you guys can live with each other. And you know why there's so many different tiles? This one was on sale and then Home Depot ran out. Same thing here, same thing here, but it's all brand new. It's renovated, it looks nice. Pedestal sink, storage for the essential. Ooh, mirrors inside. I'm also glad they went with a standing shower instead of a tub. The apartment's probably gonna be shared by two people who just wanna like take a shower and go to class or go to work. They're probably not gonna be taking baths. There's an outlet, hand towel thingy. Definitely a good bathroom and a good kitchen, but there's no living room. All of the common space is this, but this is about three feet. You could have a bar counter with stools underneath it. This way you don't have to eat all of your food in your bedroom, but the bedrooms are pretty good. Nine feet by 11 and a half feet. For 1250 a person, definitely something to get excited about. The ceilings are also 10 feet. We've got four outlet boxes, heaters. We we'll probably put the bed going this way and then you have a bunch of free space for a desk, dresser, additional furniture. <laughs> Boy, we really aren't looking out on much, but this is just a space for building personnel, which means that is their jerk chicken smoker, not your jerk chicken smoker. This is just storage. Nobody uses any of that. And what's really cool is the second room is all the way over here. Can you imagine if you you hate your roommate having to like live right next to him? Mm -hmm. This will be easier. Perfect separation. <laughs> all right, this room's a little bit smaller. It's. 54 square feet. But it's definitely workable, especially for this price. In fact, if you get a bed that's lofted and you're sleeping like up here, then you can have a desk and other stuff underneath the actual bed. There's another place in here too? Yep, right upstairs. Fifth floor? A little bit of a height. Oh man. This one, 2,500. Okay. It's such a bright place. It's crazy that we're in the same building as that other one, which Tons of natural light. didn't have any natural light. <laughs> Look, and you can enjoy the fountains that are in front of that luxury building without paying those obnoxious luxury prices. Now these are being painted, but look at the size of this room. It's about as big as that other room. This one also works as a two bedroom. We don't have that nice exposed brick, which I like, but everything else is similar. What do you think, little desk where you're at? Yep, right here, bed over here. The street view really is a big seller. I mean, you get to see New York every day, even if you don't leave your apartment. There's like a little bit of common space here with this thing. I guess you could put like a plant or something on this. And I love how much light this second bedroom is getting. Solid roof for sure. It feels bigger than the one downstairs, probably because it's 12 and a half feet long. The shape is definitely a little bit more workable. And sunlight is priceless. 
can't put a price on that. Well, you can, 2,500, 1,250 each. As for the kitchen, it's actually bigger. Well, smaller in one manner, slightly more confusing in another. There's even like a floating pantry way up there. I just wonder, uh, this stove, this cord right here, it is what it is. This actually looks newer than the stove we had downstairs. Fridge, I would say is about the same. And look at the sink. Boy, this guy has probably been here for a while. And there's not a whole lot of prep space. But way over here, you could actually have a little table. Something right in this corner right here, or even another bar counter against this wall. I also like how this one has coat hooks. It's a feature. And look at this interesting little metal cabinet. I guess this is part of the sink, but again, there's nothing funny under there. No roaches, no traps, it's very clean. Looking in places like this is the best way to make sure that if you're renting something that doesn't have like a, a secret problem, the apartment I rented had ant traps in it. I didn't know why they were there, and after renting it, I now know. get to the bathroom, you walk up this tiny little set of steps, and then you're in and it's got this really interesting tile. Look at this, it's like something out of a magazine or like a retro Art Deco Pinterest account. Well, look at that, we got the tub, it's very big. Even a little window over here with somewhat of a view. The sink is fancy schmancy. Got ourselves a little bit of medicine cabinet storage. It might not be the bathroom any of us expected, but it's gonna be hard to argue with the price of either of these. And look at that, one block away, we got something a thousand bucks more, but if you wanna say Save money, you need to talk to Sky. This room I don't think needs a light. And this is definitely a higher level of apartment than what we saw. It's got an actual living room, which is 12 by 10. The view is as exciting as our view next door, but definitely the appliances, I mean, there's a dishwasher. It's a lot nicer and a lot more of what you might expect if you want to live somewhere. The vent has a light, water's good granite counters, but the rooms here are $1,750, not $1,250. Is this common area worth it? Most people would probably say yes. It'll fit a table. You can mount a TV. In this corner, you can have a couch, but if you move to New York for reasons other than sitting on a couch, you have to ask yourself, is it the right decision? As far as storage, we have a little coat closet. This is in the hallway. It's perfect for coats, maybe some shoes. And the bedrooms and the bathroom are down this little hallway. Love that there's a closet, and it's a good size, a very similar size to the other places. For an extra 500, you're not getting a bigger room, but it's better. It has a closet, the others didn't, and it comes with an AC and a shaft way view, which is getting a little natural light. And if you're wondering where the heater is, that's this right here, there's no way to adjust it, just open the window or turn on the AC. This is probably gonna be everyone's favorite because of the two windows and how bright it is. 13 by eight are the dimensions. No built-in closet, but there's room for a dresser, traditional heater, and look at that view. Absolute money out these windows. Comes with AC, 100% you're gonna need curtains. Excellent bathroom, which won't weird anyone out because it's so nice and bright. High-end sink, high-end throw, looks like it's floating in the air because there's nothing under it. Big mirror, oh, we had this in the other apartment, didn't we? But look at that tub, that's beautiful. Check out the video description, I will see you in the next one.